Hey everybody, it's The Walker. So what are we doing today? Well, today is another episode of Solar Sunday, and we are gonna do a review of the Renergy fold-up solar panel. Here's the panel. A little story on how I came into possession of this. I was over on eBay, and I saw these panels listed from Renergy, and they were um, basically 1999 shipped to me. They call these their uh, B quality panels due to cosmetics, but they claim they operated just the same. So I was like, okay, that sounds like a pretty good deal. But what I liked about them was the size. If you take a look, it's not that much bigger than a piece of paper. And the simplicity. One USB port, which they have listed as, uh, I think around 2.0, 2.02 2 amps. At least that's what the port's listed at. Let me verify that. And the, let's see, it says. All right, two amps, five volts, two amps. So I'm right. So that was good. Came with um, suction cups and two beaners. That was good. I think the rating, temperature rating was like negative 4 to positive 158 Fahrenheit, so that was good. Let's do a quick test, though. Sun is absolutely horrible this time of year. It's just horrible, horrible sun. So we are charging at um, 0 0.6, 0 0.61, get the full panel in there, 0.63 of an amp. Let me see if I can get you to see closer. There we go. So that wasn't, you know, that that's for this week's sun. Let's see how this compares to uh, my my current favorite panel, which is the ECEN 10 watt. A similar setup, though this um, USB port I think is rated at 1.5 amps, but that's plenty because you'd be lucky if you get that. These panels tend to perform a little better in low light, in my experience. But we'll see what we get here. Okay, so we're at 0 0.74 at five, at um, at around five, um, five volts. So it seems a slight, we're charging the same power bank. So a slight bit better performance, but, um, Panels also a little larger, even though the rating is the same. Still, you know, plenty acceptable. Plenty acceptable in my opinion. You know what we'll do? Let's um, test this charging a phone, an iPhone. Now, as I said, the sun is awful. So I actually ran two tests and we'll see the results. Let's give this a try. We're at 6%. Start. Okay, we're getting around. Um, Point six. Oh, more. So it's going. It's doing a good, strong um, half amp. 
I had to move um, pretty much everything because we lost our son. It's one downside to um, doing this stuff this time of year. The sun's awful. It's so low. It hits all the trees and everything. So we're going to stop this. We'll stop it right about... Um, stop. So we're stopping it at... at um, one hour and 45 minutes. Not sure if that could be properly seen or not. It was like 66% charged. This phone is at uh, 9%. We lost our sun and I just see clouds. Time is 1.56 and I'm at uh, 28%. It just did its um, reset function. The Renogy panel did indeed charge my cell phone and the countermeasures seem to work. One thing though, the sun this time of year is very low, extremely low in the horizon. It is like scraping the tops of the trees. Well, not literally because all well, the trees would catch on fire, but you know what I mean? It's, it's a very low, low sun. So I had to actually move the entire rig to, three times in one test just to maintain the charge. But this would be the case with any solar panel because the sun is constantly being blocked by trees due to the time of year. But success. And I was, again, reasonably happy with the countermeasures against the charge error. I didn't see any device not um, supported error. And I didn't see the phone totally go offline where the panel didn't restart it. So thumbs up on that. Okay, if you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.